Joseph Plato Joseph Antoine Ferdinand Plato was a Belgian physicist. He was one of the first people to demonstrate the illusion of a moving image. To do this, he used counter-rotating disks with repeating drawn images in small increments of motion on one and regularly spaced slits in the other. He called this device of 1832 the Phanakistoscope. Plato was born in Brussels on 14 October 1801. His father, born in Tournai, was a talented flower painter. At the age of six, the younger Plato was already able to read, making him a child prodigy in those times. While attending the primary schools, he was particularly impressed by a lesson of physics, enchanted by the experiments he observed, he vowed to discover their secrets someday. Plato spent his school holidays in Marque les Dames, with his uncle and his family. His cousin and playfellow was Auguste Payen, who later became an architect and the principal designer of the Belgian railways. At the age of 14 he lost his father and mother, the trauma caused by this loss made him fall ill. On 27 August 1840, Plato married Augustine Therese Aimé Fanny Clavero and had a son a year later. His daughter Alice Plato married Gustav van der Mensbrug in 1871, who became his collaborator and later his first biographer. Fascinated by the persistence of luminous impressions on the retina, Plato performed an experiment in which he gazed directly into the sun for 25 seconds. He lost his eyesight later in his life, and attributed the loss to this experiment. However, this may not be the case, and he may have instead suffered from chronic uveitis. Plato became a foreign member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences in 1872. Plato studied at the University of Liege, where he graduated as a Doctor of Physical and Mathematical Sciences in 1829. In 1827, Plato became a teacher of mathematics at the Athenaeum School in Brussels. In 1835, he was appointed Professor of Physics and Applied Physics at Ghent University. In 1829, Plato submitted his doctoral thesis to his mentor Adolf Catellet for advice. It contained only 27 pages, but formulated a great number of fundamental conclusions. It contained the first results of his research into the effect of colors on the retina, duration, intensity and color. His mathematical research into the intersections of revolving curves, locus, the observatio. Then of the distortion of moving images, and the reconstruction of distorted images through counter-revolving disks, he dubbed these anorthoscopic disks. In 1832, Plato invented an early stroboscopic device, the phanakistoscope, the first device to give the illusion of a moving image. It consisted of two discs, one with small equidistant radial windows, 
through which the viewer could look, and another containing a sequence of images. When the two disks rotated at the correct speed, the synchronization of the windows and the images created an animated effect. The projection of stroboscopic photographs, creating the illusion of motion, eventually led to the development of cinema. Plato also studied the phenomena of capillary action and surface tension. The mathematical problem of existence of a minimal surface with a given boundary is named after him. He conducted extensive studies of soap films and formulated Plato's laws, which describe the structures formed by such films and foams. Plato died in Ghent on 15 September 1883. On 14 October 2019, search engine Google commemorated Plato with a doodle on his 218th birth anniversary. This doodle was created by animator, filmmaker, and doodler Olivia Wynne with inspiration and help from Diana Tran and Tom Tabanow. It is the first Google Doodle with different artwork showing up across different device surfaces such as desktop, mobile, and the Google app. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.